Ara, greetings and blessings to everyone. This is Christopher Tompkins. And as we move into the next cycle of May with my Patreon community, I want to invite everyone out there in cyberspace to join us in invoking some of these incredible practices, prayers, and meditations drawn straight from the tantras by joining my community patreon.com backslash kundalini yoga we're in the phrase kundalini yoga means as it did originally how to engage the engagement of yoga of kundalini not referring to the modern practice or of yogi bhajan but rather referring to the unpublished misunderstood and largely forgotten kundalini based practices of the tantras in this time of healing from the pandemic of covid we take the opportunity to invest our practice with these teachings in a novel and innovative and self-loving way. Each month I present two of the so-called Gayatri practices, more than invocations. This tradition of invoking an aspect of the goddess or of a particular deity from Hindu mythology. We invoke Gayatri, which means the song not just the original mantra given in the Vedas some four and a half, three and a half to four and a half thousand years ago, but now the medieval tradition of invoking that power, that song of life, which brings the nectar of immortality down to the third eye in our practice. As we prepare to announce our next webinar in about a week, I've, I've uh, included in this really awesome PDF in terms of what it contains these illustrations from the Kashmir Kundalini series of illustrations as I'm calling it and here we see a vertical double entendre this is called at the top here Nasagra Dhyanam the meditation on the bridge of the nose Kumbhaka the Sanskrit word just above the pair of eyebrows is the practice of retaining the breath when it is conjoined with the ascending sound, particularly the seed point of the letter Om. And that seed point pronounced as a buzzing beehive of nectar is a scientific technique called Uchara, the ascent of sound, driven through the third eye and rendered here in a very systematic way as a series of colored dots which represents different phases of the ascent of this subtle sound. I can't flip this without everything going haywire, but you could see, scrolling down here, and you could flip it on your tablet or, or phone, this is the face of Lord Ganesha, where the eye itself represents the unfurling of the seed point. Oh, I'd say right there at his left cheek, that is the seed point of Om, curling upward. Ganesha removes the obstacles to the light of the soul. And so it is in this time for healing in COVID that we invoke these practices with a preliminary round of a tantric Gayatri. And how fitting is it that this month, I've discovered, in fact, just yesterday, this Hanuman Gayatri, given to all my patrons for as little as five or $10 a month, you get all these practices of the Gayatri, perfect to add to your daily practice as it stands now, as an invocation recited three times with the proper utterance of the syllable Om. Om Shabda Rashaya Vidmahe Vayu Putraya Dimahi Tano Hanamat Prachodayata. The title for Hanuman here, Son of the Wind, Vayu Putraya, is a literal reference to his parentage. He's the son of the wind god in the Ramayana and in the epic literature. But it also refers to Hanuman's role as a personification of the invigorated, subtle breath attained through the specialized practice of pranayama in the Tantras, as we just went through here a little bit as a preview to our next webinar. This specialization, this practice taught in all the Tantric scriptures, is specifically the application of an invigorated breath performed ultimately with five single seed sounds. We've received these as the incorrect spelling of the chakra seed mantras. They are not lang vang rang. They are quite different, even simpler, and far more powerful when uttered in time with the prescribed out-breath. This is not a, a seriously hard practice, but it's a seriously powerful practice. 
join me this month. I could use the support both financially and also communally in, in the sense that, as you may have been experiencing too, we're all cut off from in-person contact. So the community of the webinar series that I offer is a great way for us to interact face to face and appreciate and experience and receive these teachings. My upcoming webinar again will be announced probably later today or tomorrow for the first week of May on the Nasagra Dhyanam meditation on the bridge point of the nose, the science of this secret wisdom imbued within these gorgeous illustrations. For now please visit my website www.patreon.com backslash kundalini yoga and if you join now it'll be really helpful because we're only paid out once a month on the first of the month and as you may have experienced as well uh, finances have been cut short due to work that's not you know coming in at the same pace due to covid and conversely if you're out of money and want to join this community and experience our upcoming webinar i'm doing sliding scale and some uh some freebies as well for those that are really in need. Contact me anytime, cpt at berkeley.edu. Om Shabdarashaya Vidmehe, Vayu Putraya Dimihi. May our awareness draw upon the symbolic form of Hanuman for engaging all the potent sounds, specifically the seed, five seed sounds represented by the five heads and the five major chakras. May Hanuman, the power of my own invigorated breath to destroy disease in the mind, of the emotions, and of the body. May that guide my life. Namaskar, everyone. <laughs>